Hello and welcome. My name is Nancy Jarasan and I'm the proud principal of Sir Wilfrid Laurier Secondary School. Thank you for joining us this evening for our Welcome to High School presentation. This evening's presentation will be shared by myself and my head of student services, Ms. Gagne. But for now, let me share my screen. So first I'd like to start with a land acknowledgement. We acknowledge that our learning is taking place on unceded and unsurrendered Algonquin territory. We thank the Algonquin Nation for hosting us and we recognize their enduring presence on this land. And now I'd like to share a message with you from our director, Camille Williams-Taylor. Starting high school is a significant milestone in a young person's journey in education. It is the time where young people can explore their interests, build on their talents, and start to envision their pathway into adulthood. The Ottawa Carleton District School Board is committed to providing a dynamic, engaging and inclusive school experience where all students are welcome and can be successful through a robust array of exciting and supportive programs and experiences. While there are certain courses that students are required to take, there are also many options for study that students can choose depending on their interests and their plans beyond high school. We know that some students thrive in the classroom, others achieve greater success in experiential learning opportunities or in virtual spaces. In the OCDSB high schools, we work hard to help students and their families to create a learning path that works well for each student. As a district, we are committed to student achievement, well being, and student voice through inclusive, equitable and meaningful programs that provide students many opportunities for success. Our high schools are a place where students can come to school, be who they are and discover who they can become. This is the time to thrive. Welcome. So I consider myself very fortunate to be working with a dedicated group of professionals. And, you know, they are kind, caring, and um, I work very closely with not only all the staff in the school, but specifically the leadership team. And to that, I have two wonderful vice principals, Ann Arden and Murray Stevenson, who I work with every day. And then, of course, we have eight department heads who are responsible for a variety of curricular areas that help students and staff through the various questions uh, within the curriculum. In addition, our office uh, staff works very hard to keep us on track and to help the school run smoothly every day. And to that, I want to credit our office administrator, Lori Watson, our assistant office administrator, Vicki Sells, Robin Godin, Heidi Holtzlander, and Samantha St. Germain. Also, we have our chief custodian, Richard Rishenbaugh, and his dedicated team of custodians who help keep this school clean, running well, and safe for all of us to be here. Finally, I want to uh, thank very much the ongoing support of our school council. We are very fortunate to have two very caring co-chairs, Terry Lynn Kennedy and Diane Vroom, who along with the other members of council have worked tirelessly over the last several years to uh, show up to all the different school events and to look for new and creative ways to support the learning needs of the students here at Sir Will through fundraising and other opportunities. So thank you very much. Students, families, staff and community partners within the OCDSB have collaborated to create the Indigenous Equity and Human Rights Roadmap to address systemic inequities and foster accounts, culture of accountability. The OCDSB is committed to ensuring that Indigenous students have support, opportunities, and resources to achieve academic success as well as personal well-being. I would like to share with you some of the things that we are doing at Sir Will to illustrate our commitment to support all of our students. So through our broadcasted morning announcements and the school website, our school teacher liaison 
raises awareness about many community events in which Indigenous students are all welcome to participate in, such as the commemoration of the Orange Shirt Day, the OCDSB Indigenous Youth Symposium, and lots of other opportunities and supports in Ottawa. Our school library boasts a collection of Indigenous art by Mi'kmaq artist Trace Metallic, portraits of Indigenous authors, and a growing collection of the latest Indigenous literature and research material. We have a strong commitment to access, opportunity, and successful outcomes for Black, minoritized, and 2S GLBTQ plus students. We recognize and support the, di the dignity and respect of all students to ensure an equitable and inclusive learning space for all. I'd like to share with you some of the things that we are doing at Sir Wilfrid Laurier. The Essence Club often is the vehicle through which Black and minoritized students collaborate on hosting cultural activities around various celebrations throughout the school year and engaging in fundraising activities for various uh, local charities. Once again this year, the OCDSB is running its Black Student Council course, which will host the annual Black Youth Forum. Several Silver students are enrolled in this specialized course, supported by a team of Black educators within the OCDSB and mentored by prominent members of the community. The OCDSB is also planning on hosting its first virtual Muslim Youth Forum in 2021. Another significant student club at Sir Will is UROC, which assembles student members of the 2S LGBTQ plus communities, as well as allies who work together on raising awareness about equity issues and hosting events and fundraisers. Similarly, both Essence and UROC are youth-driven clubs, highly motivated to engage the student population at Sir Will in meaningful and fun learning activities. We have a commitment to support our English language learners as well, and we support them in all of our secondary school. The OCDSB also offers programming in ESL and ELD courses. With respect to students with special education needs, if your child has an IEP, that information will be shared with the guidance and the special education teams in the spring. The IEP documentation will be transferred to us in September. Sir Will teachers will read your child's IEP and work with the guidance and special ed team to provide the necessary accommodations. Our role is to support families and every student in the pathway that they choose. We are here to support the successes for every one of our students. There are many pathways and options available to meet the needs of each child. The OCDSB supports equity and inclusion and offers engaging pathways for all students. Our commitment to excellence for every student supports students becoming collaborative, creative, and critical thinkers that are innovative stewards in a dynamic global environment. There is something for everyone in the OCDSB. So Sir Will has a blue room that supports a wide variety of students. And we dubbed it the Blue Room because we have a lot of school spirit here at Sir Will, and blue is one of our school colors. So the Blue Room offers a wide range of supports for students who have an IEP, students who require extra help, and students who are engaging in either credit rescue or credit recovery. Our teams consist of learning support teachers and a student success teacher as well. Our ELL teacher lead supports teachers of English language learners with classroom strategies and accommodations for students to be successful in their academic and applied courses while they acquire proficiency in English. This teacher assists with pathways and the development of English language learners proficiency in English along the step continuum for students to be successful in their post post-secondary goals of college, university, and the world of work. And I wanted to point out to you this evening that all of these supports continued this year, regardless of whether we were in person learning or um, on the learning from home model. 
The OCDSB require, uh, offers sorry, a high school diploma and certificate for all its students. In terms of uh, experiential learning, it's important for students to connect their learning to the life and their pathway goals. Experimental learning experiences help make the connection even more clear for students and help make students make better choices for their next steps. Some of the things that you see on the screen here are opportunities for experimental learning and most of these opportunities are for grade 11 and 12 students. But it's, they are also important options to consider when planning your education and your learning journey. Our continuing education department offers a wide variety of choices. Again, many of these are offered at the 11 and 12 level, but not exclusively so. So if you're interested, please check with your guidance counselor. With respect to course selection, that is something that Ms. Ganyu will be speaking about in her portion of the presentation. OCDSB has introduced a new uh, platform called Zello, and Ms. Ganyu will be speaking to, about that as well. On your screen right now, you see the pathways to graduation, and there are so many things to consider. So many different options depending on your interest and your uh, acumen. So please remember, you are in the driver's seat for your experience at high school. Each of these opportunities provides you with amazing learning experiences that will guide your learning, shape your growth, and support your chosen pathway goals. I would now like to turn the presentation over to Ms. Gagne. Thank you. Good evening, bonsoir. My name is Christine Gagné, Department Head of Student Services here at Surwill, and welcome to our Grade 8 night. I know that we're giving you a lot of information, but my next part here, we'll talk about high school in general, some of the Grade 9 courses that we offer, and I will also show you the website where you can obtain some additional information on everything that we have said tonight. Before I start, I do want to mention that we do collaborate with grade eight teachers. We will meet with them in the spring. We talk about students, we look at course selections, and also we review one by one each timetable to make sure that they're well balanced for a great transition to high school. So let's start with graduation requirements. In Ontario, every student must have 30 credits to graduate. They must also have 40 hours of volunteer work. And this you can start once your grade eight is completed. So during the summer, you're welcome to start your volunteer hours. And you also need to complete the literacy test in grade 10. Now, what does high school look like? In grade nine, you will have a total of eight courses and Surwill is a semestered school. So what that means is you will have four courses in September and then you will have four different courses in February. So it's semester one and semester two. Uh, we follow a two day cycle, so it's very easy. Day one and day two, day one being odd numbered days and day two, even numbered days. Typical day, you would have two classes in the morning of 75 minutes each, then a lunch, then two other classes in the afternoon, and we finished a school day at 2.35. It is an early start, but it's great for students who want to participate in the many clubs that we offer. We also have many sports, we have band and other uh, courses offered after school. And also we have a homework help session. So every day after school for an hour, we have three teachers assistants in the library waiting to help students with their homework 
help them for studying for quiz. Now let's look more specifically at grade nine. Students, as I mentioned, will have eight courses. Six of them are mandatory. Every student will need to take English, French, which could be French immersion or core French, geography, math, science, and phys ed. They will also choose two electives, but we'll come back to that. So let's look at more of the mandatory courses. So this will be the new system that we will use this year for course selection. So it's called Zello and it's very user friendly. Once you able to log in, you will see blue boxes. Blue boxes are the mandatory courses. And you will notice here as you go up in grade 11 and 12, there's less and less mandatory courses. So students can then choose courses of their liking to get ready for their workplace or for post-secondary. If you look at the grade nine column here, so the courses that I've named are all here in blue. And one big difference from elementary is that once you choose the grade nine English, for example, here, it's gonna ask you which level do you wanna take your English class? So we offer locally developed, academic and applied courses. If I was to summarize it, locally developed would be for students who are really struggling in grade eight right now, and maybe even their curriculum is modified. Academic would be more for students that are performing at level threes and fours. And applied would be best for students that are in the level one or two. Now, this uh, slide here is available on the board website. We also have our own uh, website with all this information, but I do strongly suggest that you talk to your grade eight teachers. They're the best people that know you, how you learn, and they can give you some guidance. Also, if you've got brothers or sisters that attended high school, talk to them. And also, I would like to note that you can have a combination of academic and applied courses. If you're a student that really excels in language-based courses like English, geography, those could be done academic, but if you struggle in science, you could take the science applied. Now, I do want to point out uh, some new initiatives for next year. The Ontario government has implemented this new grade nine math D stream. So what that means is that we will no longer offer math at the applied or academic level. It will be one course for all the students and they've got teams working on the course right now and more information will come out uh, later. But once you are able to go on Zello, you will see one code, the MTH1W. But please note that we do offer the math at the locally developed uh, level as well. And also new for Sir Will in September, we have now three options for gym. You can choose female, male, or all genders. So back to this slide, so we've talked about the mandatory courses. I'd like to talk to you now about the elective courses. Please note elective courses, there's no level. It's just O meaning open because they're introductory courses. So no prior experience needed. And for the first elective, students must have a course in the arts category. So what is considered an art? It can be drama, music, or visual arts. And you will notice under music, we've got band. We also offer band as a course after school for credit, and that would become your ninth course. Second elective, again, if your child enjoys the art, they can choose two art classes. They could take drama and music. If not, then their choices would be in the business, we offer information and communication in business, or they can choose a course in the technology department. We have ComTech, Tech Design, and Robotics and Engineering. For the French Immersion Program, so students will need to have 10 courses in French. So we've talked about how you needed 30 courses to graduate. 10 of them will need to be in French. 
And also each year it's mandatory for you to take the French course. So that's the one with the grammar and the literature. So that's the FIF, as you can see there. But then after you'll need to choose six other courses from grade nine to grade 12 that are taught in French. Sir Will offers an extensive French immersion program. So we offer a lot of courses. And in grade nine, we offer drama, geography, science, and visual arts. So you'll notice that those codes, they all finish with an F for French. And also I want to point out that courses like geography and science, they are only offered at the academic level. Also at the bottom of your screen, again, it's not for right now, but in grade 12, we do now offer the DELF program uh, test. It's called Diplôme d'études en langue française, and it's gonna be a test that will uh, give you your French proficiency. Something that I will point out on the website, and because it's very important when you'll get to choose your courses, are the codes. If you look at the bottom of your screen, you've got the first example, ENG would stand for English. The one, I've made it really big because it's important. Grade nine courses are represented by a one. So grade eight students are not permitted to choose a grade 10. So please make sure that it is a one. And then you've got all the codes. So D for academic, P for applied, et cetera. Now, this brings us to the website. So if you go to surwill.ca, you will see uh, many tabs at the top. Like if you want to reach uh, a staff, you, all the emails are there. Academics are all the courses that we offer from grade nine to grade 12, our schisms, the athletics. But one that's really important for now is the student services department. And you will see here that we have lots of information from graduation info, to special education, if you'd like to have more information, if your child has an IEP, the student success program, what we offer. And also here, the, I like to point out the grade eight information. So if you click on that, you will see this. You'll have my name at the top here if you need to reach me by email. The general information like the course characters, Course level, very important. They talk about the essential academic applied courses. Here are all the courses in grade nine for you to have more information. French immersion program as well. But I would like to point out at the bottom there, that you will see video grade nine elective courses. Because I know we're throwing a lot of codes and, and course titles at you. And this video was made by a student pre-COVID and uh, the student goes into all the elective courses. So you can actually see some of the students in action, what they're working on, some of the projects. It's gonna give you a really good idea of what students will learn in that course. And at the bottom of this uh, web page, you'll see some more links. We did have a lot of questions on clubs and sports. So we did put a list out there, but I also wanna mention a few of them because Coming to high school, it's not just attending classes. We want you to have fun. We want you to make connections. And that's why we offer many, many clubs. Clubs are offered at lunchtime. We also have some after school. One club that's very important to us is Student Council. They uh, organize pep rallies. They have games at lunchtime. They also organize <clears throat> our grade nine challenge that you can see at the bottom of the screen. This is a really fun activity where grade nine classes compete against each other. And it's really fun. We also have intramurals at lunch. We have sports for every season. And here's our uh, Lake students extending their warm welcome to our future students. For those who might not know, Link Crew is a grade 12 leadership class and their role is to be mentors for our grade nines just to help them transition to high school because we know it can be very stressful, but they will be there right from the first day of school. They will show you uh, your, where your classes are, help you set up your locker. They're also gonna be a nice barbecue on the first day, but also what's important is that throughout the year, they're there as a confidant and also um, they will help you with your homework if you want, 
And they also do class lesson on how to take notes, how to study for examples. So for exam, for exams, sorry. So this brings us almost to the end. If Sir Will is not your designated school, you will need to fill out an application form online. Again, that link is on our website that I just showed you. And you have until February the 16th to hand that in. This concludes our evening. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact us at Sir Will.